All right, guys, now we're standing outside Plan 2 by TriPoint. We are in the Northwest. One of my favorite things about this community before we go inside is how much more affordable it is compared to its Summerlin counterpart. In Summerlin, when I look at this same model, I mean, you're looking at seven figures easily. Here, you're starting in the sixes. So let's check it out. If you're looking for, you know, a four bedroom home, um, something with a lower HOA, this is gonna be right up your alley. And you're gonna see that modern luxury without the luxury prices, right? Um, what do you guys define as luxury? Is it over a million, over two million, or, or what would you say? I know Vegas has grown. Let me know in the comments. All right, let's go inside. Actually, before we go inside, look at this front area. So much space in this front area. You can grab some chairs. You can get your coffee and tea going on. Maybe you can have the family come over and just hang out in this front area. I like it. This is actually bigger than some of the homes that I, I tour their backyards. So, all right, as immediately as I go in, something that I notice is they did something a little bit different with this model versus the 3500 model. They really split the, the kind of the living areas. It is more open, but you have the dining room here and the living room here. And I feel like it's more clearly defined. The other model felt more of a square. I like the square, don't get me wrong. But this one, you can clearly define where everything's at. Um, that being said, look how much countertop space you're gonna get with this home, right? A lot of countertop space a very long island this is almost like going to the bar right there's a lot you can probably sit a lot of stools here this you could put cool. a lot of little ones right there yeah you could put a lot of little ones so those of you that like to entertain and have a lot of friends this might be a cool area to hang out um also right behind you you have a good this is a very good pantry Walking. especially i think for this size of home i think it's very appropriate right I mean, very appropriate. I can't imagine you're going to need a bigger pantry than this. Maybe for Guy Fieri or um, what's her name? Uh, the the cook. Uh, Rachel Ray. <laughs> Rachel Ray, right? Maybe like one of these big cooks. But I think in this size home, the pantry definitely fits. Um, something that is not exciting to me is I think this is a small fridge, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. Um, and, you know, we keep her on, the, on, the, on our channel. I, I might even move the fridge over here. I feel bad, but maybe I'd get rid of something, but maybe even get rid of this part and get a bigger fridge, right? That's, that's all I'm saying. Um, this model though, look at it. We have two car garage. It's, it's a longer than your traditional garage and it's also taller, right? You can definitely put storage up here. You could probably put gym equipment here if you really wanted to stretch it. So. I like, the, I like the length of this garage. All right, let's keep on moving. Um, oh yeah, also in this quick move-in, they already did the backyard for you. You don't have to worry about it. So if you've ever done you know, backyards in Vegas, you have an idea how much it costs. And I think this is a great um, feature on a quick move-in is that they've already done all the pavers, they've already done the turf, and then standing in your backyard, there's a beautiful mountain. So usually my friends from the East Coast love looking at mountains. What's that mountain called back there? Sheep Mountain. Sheep Mountain. Very cool. Yeah, On the top Sheep of Sheep Mountain. Mountain yesterday, there was snow. There's still a little bit left now. But yeah, in Vegas, apparently, now we have snow, which is very cool. So, all right. So now we have, we do have a full bed and bath down, which is super cool. and then plenty of lighting in this room. So this would be a great um, room for videos. So let's go on upstairs. Um, if, you have, if you have any questions, just tap them in the, in the comments below. Also, if you haven't already, this is your first time, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications as we're always bringing you the latest and greatest in new homes in the Las Vegas area. And we wanna make sure that you're staying up to date, right? Um, now we're here in the loft area. So I think it's a, you know, normal size loft. Here, let's turn that. You got it? Yeah. All right, perfect. So yeah, I think it's a normal size loft, right? I think it's doing the, the functions of it. Um, good office space. Yeah, good office space. 
What would you put up there? I would put um, my desk and have the bright, I don't know, yeah, I would make this into my office space. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I'd it's probably, perfect. It's corner, corner desk. I like that. Maybe put like a, a standing desk. Chair. Mm -hmm. chair. Or maybe a couch area or a game room. I don't know, maybe for a the kids. man cave. <laughs> could be, could be man cave. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. Um, the primary is going to be right over here, and we'll get to that last. So the difference between this one and the 3500 model is that this model has two bedrooms on this corridor, and then the bigger model, of course, has three. So you can see what we have here. You know, definitely. Would you say those are 11-foot ceilings? Probably, and then, right? Oh, Eleven? yeah. So ceilings are going to be nine feet. <coughs> nine yeah. feet? Okay. Yeah. Ceilings are going to be nine feet here. So usually a lot of homes, they do eight feet. Um, some builders and if you watch my videos, you know which one they are Because um, usually I do point that out um, I do always say if you can get a structure option of a higher ceiling always do it whether it's nine or ten It just mm -hmm. gives the area and room so much more life um, Now we're in the, the shared bathroom. So as you can see, you know, it definitely serves its function You have the courts. So very cool. Um, and then you have the shared other bedroom here All right, walk-in closet, so definitely good. Very cool. All right, so let's finish up here at the primary. I do have a bonus surprise for you. So I did record the actual model itself. So if you want to see what it looks like, not just a quick move-in, when it's all decked out, definitely stay tuned in the video. We do have the link to that video, so we'll link it for you. Um, here is the primary bed. So, and again, Sheep Mountain. Yep. Look at the view. We do have Sheep Nobody Mountain Nobody in front of you. Mm-hmm. And then also, that road right over there, that's going to lead you to Kyle Canyon. So if, if you are not familiar with Vegas, um, we do have mountains here that lead to the snow. So this is about, depending what type of car you have and how fast you drive, 25, 30 minutes. You can get to Mount Charleston or Kyle Canyon. And, and go skiing up in the Lee Canyon. You can go yep. skiing. That's right. You can go skiing and snowboarding, whatever you want to do. You know, just be in the snow. We, we actually went the other day. We actually went two weekends ago, bought some sleds, took the kids. So it's a pretty cool experience, right? right? Especially being from Vegas, we're, we're used to it being super hot. So being in this location where you're 30 minutes from the snow, 30 minutes on the strip, and then 45 minutes to Lake Las Vegas, I mean, I, I re you really can't beat it, right? I think it's a fantastic location and the price is super well. And then you still have all your big stores. You're 15 minutes away from Costco, probably 10 minutes from Sam's Club Max. And Smith's. You have, yeah, you have a huge yeah. marketplace, Smith's, that has everything. It's like a Walmart in there. Yep. So you have a lot of shopping and dining. So especially if you get here early, typically the first home that gets built in a subdivision or the earlier homes are get so much more equity than the last home built. So that's just a hack for you. Anyways, let's finish up with my favorite thing about this home, the walk-in. The walk-in shower. So very good space. They did the, the two shower heads it's rain, here. It's a rain shower, yeah? Yep. I, the only thing I would add is probably a shower hose. I think you should always have a shower hose in every, every home. That's just my <laughs> opinion. You know, you don't have to agree with me. But if you do, let me know in the comments because I think I'm right about it. And then you have... Huge walk-in closet. Huge walk-in closet. This is where all the men's clothes go. The rest is obviously for the ladies. Um, and then if there's no ladies in your home, then you're lucky because now you get the whole closet. <laughs> so um, that being said, thank you so much for watching till the end. Here is the link to the video for... Um, the model walkthrough. So definitely check that out and we'll see you on the next one.